Do you see what I see right now? Are we seeing this? I mean, come on. What's going on right now? Whoa now, Gymshark is really getting out there this time around. Gymshark's tearing it up. Literally tearing it up down here. We're gonna use that as the title. Gymshark's tearing it up. Yeah. Gymshark's dropping a new seamless collection called the Gains Collection. Mm, I'm not gonna lie, I've been working on my gains, so this came in perfect timing. We're gonna go ahead, do a deep dive into this collection as a whole, show you all the pieces that I have here today, and of course, test them out here in our gym. If you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. We talk new Gymshark on this channel very regularly. If they have a new collection, chances are we are reviewing them here. So hit that subscribe button, join the fam, you won't regret it. Also, here's my shameless plug. I do have a Gymshark code, it's Ashley G. If you use it at checkout, it does save you 10% off of all your Gymshark orders, helps support this channel, and we appreciate you very much for that. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's chat about this new Gains collection. Now, I do believe, I believe it's launching at the end of this month. But don't get it twisted, once they do drop this collection, I'll make sure to announce it on my stories, on Instagram. Once these pieces do go live, you can expect them to be individually linked down in the description box below. Hi. What's up? <laughs> I gotta move now though, hold up. Oh, those were my knees. So in this collection, they're dropping leggings, sports bras, crop tops that tie in the front. I'll show you that in a second. Regular shorts. An all-in-one. Am I missing anything? Is there a zip jacket in there too? And a zip jacket, thank you so much. What would I do without my little helper? So that's what they're dropping. I actually am throwing in an alternative sports bra as well that they're dropping that actually happens to match these sets perfectly. This is the double up bra that we're gonna be checking out. So if this is a little too much for you, you don't really care for this second layer, Check out this one. This one has two layers too, but it's a little bit different. So I decided to start off by wearing the green set. They're also dropping blue and black. Not all the leggings have these tears. So if you're not interested in torn up leggings, they have solid leggings as well. Looks like I'm slowly turning into the Hulk. Like my muscles are just tearing through this right now. They actually really went hard on the backside. We not only have a built-in scrunch, but an upper glute contour, are we seeing that? Now these sets are washed. You really can't see it so much on this green color, but on this blue set, you can really see how washed it is, specifically on this color. Are you seeing that? It looks dirty, it looks grungy, like it's been places. I can already see a lot of gals gravitating towards no holes, because I teased this on YouTube shorts, and that is the consensus. They like the idea of the holes, but practicality's sake, they're gonna go with the solid leggings. I don't blame you. When I first put these on, first thing I thought, this feels awfully similar to the Adapt Animal they just dropped. Remember that? Even the scrunch bum feels about the same. You have similar snugness. There's not a whole lot of stretch in this. And they're virtually made out of the same material. I'm pretty sure the Adapt Animal has some polyester, this doesn't. So it's mostly nylon and spandex. It has a rougher texture. It's not buttery soft, not silky soft, smooth. It's thick, it's fairly thick. I already worked out in this entire set yesterday. I power walked on the treadmill, didn't even run, and I was breaking a sweat. So this is a very insulating, thick material. In case you're curious about these holes, they're not tight. They're not making any marks on my legs. If you look very closely, they lip up. So it's not like this is a seam that's digging in. The only seamed part would be right here, this extra reinforcement to make sure that they won't tear any bigger than they already are. This entire legging is a very, very fine ribbing. And I'm talking the entire set, even the bra as well. With obvious thicker ribbing around the waistband. And right here, there's some contour ribbing that gets a bit thicker down the ankle. The ribbing even goes up into the glute area, adding in some extra dimension. I feel like if there's any controversy with this legging, it's gonna be two things. These holes, and the upper glute contour. Luckily, the holes are optional. You can get a legging without, but this glute contour is on every single piece, even the all-in-one in the shorts. Check it out. So the all-in-one is only coming in black, but yeah, you got the scrunch, and you got the, what I like to call that unibrow look. Bay's got it. <laughs> you do. You have an eye at unibrow. There's no shame in that game. And the shorts as well. Boy, we have a lot to say about these shorts. This waistband is very squared off. Are we seeing that? It is extremely boxy. It's about a moderate compression. I have to say though, the band has more stretch than any other area of this entire legging. 
So this, very minimal stretch, okay? Very minimal. See that? Look at that. It's a very snug legging. Now, I feel like that lack of stretch is actually making it more supportive throughout the legging. So I'm feeling a moderate to almost higher support throughout. And like I said, waistband only being moderate at best. Length is pretty good on me. I'm five foot three. The scrunch itself is fairly stiff. So it's going to really enhance the glutes and get in where it needs to be, but it doesn't necessarily move with you. I told you these leggings are thick. But how thick are we talking? Like, are they gonna conceal cellulite? I wanna know that. And I wanna know whether or not this is gonna slip. This is a big freaking deal, considering you got that unibrow contour, because you can't have that slipping down the cheeks, okay? Then what good is it? Oh, baby. If you wear these for cardio, prepare to heat up. Very little support here. This is what's going to cause these leggings to slide a bit more because of the lack of compression in the waistband. I don't know if it's because I've been wearing the green a lot more, this is probably why, but I feel like there's a little bit less compression in this waistband than the blue color. And I do believe it's just because I'm wearing the heck out of these. So if you're really pulling on this waistband a lot, like I've been, this just might be stretching out over time. Uh, not the most cellulite friendly. Word? Yeah. How do the holes feel on the side of your legs? Perfect. I honestly, I forget the holes are even there. I don't even feel them. I feel a little bit of a shift in the waistband. Like I could slowly feel it wanting to make its way down. But what's really going to determine that is how it holds up when squatting. Mm. That bending motion, especially with the stiffer scrunch, is what's going to make the backside slowly slip down. Feel a little slipping. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. How do they feel compression-wise as you're running? Do you feel any restriction around your joints? Do you feel any? No restriction, but like I said, I do feel most of the support right around my lower thigh, around my kneecaps, and even down my calves. Mm. Not feeling a ton of support here or around the waistband. Cool. That's where the least amount of support is. All right, nice job. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks good on the tush. It really mm -hmm. does. It does. Even if it slips a little bit, it's not mm -hmm. like it's cutting the cheeks in half or anything. Gymshark's been really working on the glute aesthetic. I noticed in their past few drops, they've really been concentrating on that. This is something we've been wanting to see from them for years. Now I finally <laughs> feel like they're really going all in on it. It takes time to make these designs and actually put them into play. It could take two years. I said this before and I'm gonna say it again. With this particular scrunch, because it is stiff, this is the type of scrunch that works with this type of thick material. It's not paper thin, where a lot of these brands, they come out with that very thin, delicate, dainty scrunch that looks very natural and beautiful, but it works for that material. Because this is very thick and durable gym material, this type of scrunch is what needs to be put on a material this thick. Oh no, those trees. Oh my God. Oh, you don't understand. Oh, I'm shaking like a baby fucking deer right now. Oh. So we got some band gape. Mm -hmm. I don't notice the scrunch. Like for example, this is a little more comfortable than the animal scrunch was on me. And when you squat and come up, it fits way better oh. as it should. Oh my God, my quads, hold up. Guys, try this workout. You gotta get these little elevated heel wedges. They're the best. They're from the brand Harder Will on Amazon. They even layer, so you don't have to have such steep of an incline. Bring them in your gym bag, elevate those heels. This way you don't have to use plates or something just to elevate the heels. Oh wow, you can really feel it. You didn't feel the scrunch. The scrunch no. actually worked better. I haven't even thought twice about these holes. I'm not even thinking about them. Like I don't feel them. I'm gonna move this around and look, there's no, there's no actual lines or anything forming here. This is not tight. And you've been wearing these leggings now for about 40 minutes, right? Yeah. I worked out in these leggings hour and a half yesterday. Felt no discomfort. <coughs> we can't have this heavy of a glute aesthetic and not do some cable kickbacks. Thank you very much. I mean, the scrunch looks like it's staying in place pretty well. Is it super obvious, the scrunch? Uh, no. Okay. Feels great. If I have to deal with a little bit of slipping to ensure that the waistband's not going to literally feel like a corset on me, I'm okay with that. I would much rather lower compression in the waistband and deal with a little bit of this, having to just kind of bring it up, than me feel so sandwiched in that not only am I bulging, but when I go to sit on a machine, I'm like, 
Mm -hmm. I feel like I just got like punched, like the wind knocked out of me. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I was gonna say. Now how I like to do this is I lean forward to really activate those glutes. But a lot of leggings tend to just cut me in half right here. These feel great. These are not overly tight in the waistband, which is good for me. Because the exercises I like to do, like this, I just can't have that. Is there a gape right now? A little bit. It's not as bad as when you were in a full squat. But how's it look? Does it look wrinkly as <sighs> Well, yeah, the higher the band, the wrinklier it's gonna look when you sit. I actually saw a picture of a gal on the brief rolling down the waistband. Let me see how that, I feel like this could work considering it's not too compressive. Lipped waistband, good, good, good. Looking cute as hell. Now let's try some side bends. Oh. Twelve. Nice job. Let's see something. Waistband didn't budge. No, waistband, waistband held up. You know the drill, 12 okay. squirts. Now we know that this is very insulating. Okay, so I'm dripping sweat. Right around here is where the sweat, yep, you can start to see it. A little bit coming through. Obviously grab a dark color if that's an issue for you. Pretty dry. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm digging these leggings, dude. So am I. I'm digging them, I think they did a really great job here. I actually like these more than the animal that just dropped. Squat test, round number one, nude seamless, looking 100% opaque. Cool. Kind of what we expected. Black briefs, baby, break them out. Black briefs. How's it looking? Really, 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 really good. I'm telling you, it's gym friendly. If you're in between, you gotta size up in this legging. Other than that, I am great with my size small. I think if I sized up entirely, it's gonna be the adapt animal all over again, where it was just a little too loose in a lot of places. So sticking with your true size is how you wanna go with this range. Question, which do you like more? Do you like this legging, regardless of the holes or not? Uh-huh or the lift seamless that just came out. Oh, shit. I think I might have to go with this. I yeah. do. I think I have to go with the gains because the lift, first of all, I don't know if you guys noticed the newer colors in the lift, they fit different than the OG. So I might have to do an updated video on the lift collection, but it fits better. There's not so much excess material, so it's fitting way, way better. But I do believe I like the waistband of this better because the lift, has a little more compression, which I'm like, eh. I feel like if the whole slipping thing gets annoying for you, the lift collection's your best friend. Does not move around, does not slip. I feel like if you're somebody who's like, no, the less compression in the waistband, the better, while still maintaining glute aesthetic, you might wanna check out the Gaines collection. I feel like the lift collection is just meant to accentuate your natural curves. Yes. Whereas this is meant to fully emphasize those glutes. Definitely. The unibrow contour, really is. Oh man, that's gonna stick too. We're not trying to be sassy, I'm I promise. Not. It's just now that's all I can think of, right? You can't unsee it, my bad. We're gonna call that the Pataki contour. You do that. If you know, you know. So I feel like at the lift I like because it looks a little more natural on the glutes. This is an obvious contour. Okay, say it's leg day. Mm -hmm. You have a lift seamless legging and you have a gains seamless legging. Which pill are you taking? Probably the gains. I feel like I also like this light color too. And I feel like the glutes really pop with the light color. The scrunches Gymshark have been coming out with yeah. usually result in extra material right above the cheeks. Yeah. Just in the way it ruches and right. the way it sits. Not we this We do one. not have that here. This no. is laying really smooth. It is. They're not excessive with the upper scrunch because I know a lot of their leggings I typically can't wear because there's just too much extra scrunch up here. This has a nice length to it that just fills out the glutes nicely. It just kind of works with the glutes. Different body shapes, different Definitely. body types, Definitely. you know, depends on which scrunch you're gonna go with. But for me, it's this type of scrunch. When it comes to Gymshark, it is this type of scrunch for my particular glutes. All right, let's talk about this Tarzan looking bra. I feel like Jane right now. It looks a little dirty too, look up close. It looks like I literally threw this bra in with some bleach by accident, but then it came out and I was like, oh, that kind of rocks. So we have a double layer bra right here that ties in the back. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is a thick tie. This is huge. So sometimes when I'm working out, I was like, what the hell is this? And then I forget it's the actual knot because it's that gigantic. It's not uncomfortable, but it's really big. Let me show you, why not? There it is. So it's like a halter top that comes down. Whoa. Now there's no bra pads in here. There's no option to insert. This is the first layer. This is where the holes are at. 
You got two adjustable straps right here. There's no way to detach this or anything. So you just, you have to tie it around your neck or let it flop. I can see people getting really creative with this bra. Marvelous. No, it's not. The f is this? <laughs> Shame on you. I have to say this top layer really adds all the support though. Without this top layer, this would be extremely low support. Adding this baby here, it's like braces for your boobies. <laughs> for my breast size, the bra holds up beautifully. I'm not jiggling around. It's not a high impact bra, but for me, I can get away with doing cardio in this bra. It's working just fine. Look, they're not sitting there flopping around. This double layer works wonders. How does that not on the back feel? Do you feel like it's gonna come undone the more you move and run around and? Honestly, no. <laughs> it's thick, and when you tie it tight in place with that thickness, it really does help just keep it contained. Mm. So I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with it untying. Are you gonna try a pull up? Don't sound so surprised. I'm not surprised, I'm impressed. Okay, thanks. Show you from the front how the sports bra holds up. Even if you just hang, okay. stretch your spine out. Hanging out. <laughs> oh fuck, where'd I put my head? <laughs> nice, real nice. Slow and controlled. Hey, come on down. You're gonna my hurt yourself up there. Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. Get back on solid ground. One thing I have to say about this bra that I really like is the fact that there's no pinching anywhere. There's no actual thick band underneath. So there's nothing going to actually sandwich you in anywhere. It all lays very flat, nicely against the skin. And the second layer is a godsend. <sighs> Giving me that extra support, extra layer, because without this thick layer on top, it would be very thin underneath. And you know what that means. <sighs> this bra's dope. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's any side pinching. Nah. No side pinch. No side boobage. Mm -mm. Nice. Good I am coverage. going to definitely lay down on the floor and test these out because I feel like I'm nice and secure on the sides here. Go get your Gymshark branded yoga mat. Gymshark for all your sporting needs. Am I the only one that doesn't know how to roll out a mat? <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. All right. And you don't know how to clean it apparently. Holy crap. <sighs> Putting in the work, bitch. <sighs> I had a guy once on one of my workout videos make fun of me for not hitting my toes. I just come shy of it. But the truth is, is like, my scoliosis <laughs> pulls. And honestly, ladies, don't let a man comment and tell you how to do things. You do you, you don't need no damn man. Snatch that waist. <sighs> the band doesn't look like it's digging in either on, mm -mm. This, on the leggings. Nope, this fits great. Look at, nice side boob coverage. I don't feel any type of way wearing this. This is very comfortable. Bra, they did a great job on it. Let's do the gravity test. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's check out the crop top real quick. I don't care. So I'm gonna tie this like a normal knot, like a normal bow tie here, right? Would that look cute? There's a lot of layers happening right here. This is like the third layer. Now they added in the matching holes on the back. This top is similar to the rest of the set, but I feel like there's a little bit more stretch in this, just a bit. Might be because it's so open. I think if you're interested in this crop top and you already have some real basic minimals to pair, this would work so much better. To put these two together seems over the top for me. Wow, first of all, boobies on fleek. I love when they do this. <laughs> I really like this double layer. It's so similar to the one you just saw, except not as extreme. There's no holes. This simply isn't as thick of a material. This is reminding me of the V-neck. Right here, you do have two adjustable straps. It's feeling a bit snug on me because there is a thick band right here. See that? So if you're in between, you might wanna size up. Definitely not sizing down, but true size is okay. My boobies feel nice and secure in here, so I'm feeling a moderate support. These are the type of bras I love from Gymshark. They're nice and simple. They show off the girls and the gains. They're lower to moderate support bras, a little more on the minimal side, work for me and my boobs. Keep in mind they're coming in a darker blue color, so it can totally match 
the navy in the gains seamless leggings. They definitely added some extra options in on the side, so I do appreciate that. Okay, navy blue, who is she though? <laughs> Navy ooh, blue, ooh. who knew? Who knew? Comment down below, which color's your favorite? Acid wash is popping on that color. It really is. Coming up close, like check out all this acid wash. Whoa, it's really obvious on this set. Here is where you can see an up close of the scrunch, okay? Up close, you can absolutely see it's a scrunch. I always felt like acid wash with this type of scrunch makes the scrunch extra noticeable. It just does. <sighs> It really does emphasize the ruching aspect of the scrunch. So if you want your scrunch to look a little more discreet, maybe grab that lighter pair. This, it's pretty noticeable. Like I noticed that scrunch right away. Oh girl, um, you gotta fix that tag though. What? Oh shit. Oh my God. Damn dude, the tag always oh gets me. Oh my God. It doesn't look anything crazy from far away. But up close, yeah, you're gonna be like, yep, that's scrunch. As you can see, this is more of a toned down piece in other aspects, such as the bra. You don't have two totally contrasting colors. It's all tonal, all very tonal. You have the shark face that really stands out. This is a printed logo. I'm not feeling a difference in the overall fit between these two colors. They're fitting nearly identical, which is a good thing, considering that there's no holes on this, but it's fitting the same. We have a zip jacket to try on. Look at that squared off neckline. Whoa. You got two sharp corners. That's a 90 degree angle, girl. That's that geometry. For real, for real. I was never big into math. I actually failed. I don't even know how I actually graduated from high school. I'm not kidding. I think they just passed me along. It was, it was math for me. I couldn't do it. Still can't. Don't wanna. Don't need to. That's why we make YouTube videos. <laughs> this material with this jacket is awfully thick and restrictive feeling. You can really feel the texture of this on the skin. When I'm wearing it as a legging, I don't mind it as much. But on my arms, I find it to be a little scratchy feeling. A little scratchy. A little itchy and scratchy show. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like denim. So if that's the look you want to go for, girl, you do it. Gymshark's jackets tend to really snatch. They're really good at that. If this was a little more comfortable of a material, I'd be more inclined to want to wear it. If you check it out on the side, it does go up higher in the back. So it's a moderate stretch, but I'm telling you, it's it feels like a lot of their really heavy tight long sleeves, their crops. You know how I feel about that, right? Okay. Let's take a moment to discuss these shorts. These shorts are so tight on my thighs. And the craziest part is that I actually sized up an entire full size because I tend to do that in tight fit shorts to prevent things like this happening. And it's starting to roll just as I'm, you know, lounging down here to talk to you. It's rolling, which, okay, not the end of the world, right? But boy, is this tight. Oh, it's tight. Like a tiger. Some girls, this does not bother. More power to you. Me? Hell no. Not a whole lot to discuss about the shorts. I am a legging girl most of the time. And in this instance, it's a for sure time. Personally, not gonna work totally for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. Not every piece is gonna work for everybody. Activewear fits everyone differently and everyone has different preferences in their activewear. This could work for a lot of people. Yeah, but you look really good though. Can we just take a second here? That is a good look for you. I think you need to get out of your own head sometimes. Right here, you can see the thick seam, but from far away, like when I'm not overly dissecting my body right now, <laughs> Which like, you shouldn't do, be I confident. know, I know, but I, I do that. I can't help it. We're all human. My legs have always been one of them. Mine's and, my ass. Which had, is crazy, because you have a plump dump, and I'm jealous of it all the time. Gymshark doesn't sleep on their all in one <laughs> No, though. they really don't. I don't think anyone ever buys them, but <laughs> they are really, really good. And the unibrow fits much better on the all-in-one, by the way. It actually feels like it's sitting where it's supposed to. And Oof. now, because it's an all-in-one, it's all connected, you don't have to worry about slipping. That's true, yeah. that is true. Now, are you an all-in-one kind of girl? I like the idea of it, but I'm more likely to wear it with a cardigan out, not really working out in it. I really can feel the thickness here. In fact, right here, there's a ton of support. I'm feeling this heavy ribbing in the midsection. Everything's a fine rib until you get right about here. Then there's a heavy, heavy rib. There's an internal sports bra here. This is where I'm lifting. You can see the band right here, but do you see how low it sits on my torso? So this is where it ends, right here. It actually does have two bra pads here. You can take them out if you need to. This feels overall very compressive, very, very snug. You have adjustable straps here right on the back as well, but these are very, very thick. You see that? Thick ass material. How are the shorts fitting compared to the actual shorts? The same. I am wearing a size small. Shorts are feeling about the same as they did before. Same amount of snugness around here, 
Same type of roll, knee just squatting down, making their way up. The scrunch isn't sitting as well in between the cheeks like the leggings. So I feel like when it comes to the effectiveness of the scrunch bum, the leggings are definitely better in that department. Overall great quality if you're looking for a solid onesie to wear and lift in at the gym. I wouldn't necessarily wanna wear this out and about though. I do love onesies for out and about, not this particular one. This one does feel like a lifting onesie. You wear this, you go hit your PRs and you go home. That's it, the amen. Hit those PRs, girl. Hit those PRs, you can do it. Alrighty, you guys, comment down below. What are your thoughts on the new Gaines Seamless Collection? Are we here for it? Yeah, let me know. Like, let us know. Let's chat about it. I'm really excited to see you guys rocking these pieces if you do choose to shop this launch. If you're like, mm, I don't know if this is for me, wait it out. There might be a launch in the future that speaks to you a little better. I have to say my first impression of the Gaines collection, very pleased, very, very pleased. It's comfortable, it's flattering, it's supportive. I feel like you can do a variety of workouts in this. I don't have to feel worried about things snagging, pulling. It's not a buttery soft material that's just going to get crappy really quickly. So I think they did a great job on this collection overall. I love that they added already. This is the first drop of this collection. They already have quite a few pieces that you can pick from. I really do appreciate the fact that they came out with two styles of leggings. I think that was really important for this particular drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I love you guys so much and thank you for being here. We'll catch you in our next video. Bye-bye.